Hey YouTube, Homestead Prepper. I wanted to um, just talk a little bit about this ceramic knife that my wife got for Christmas and she's been raving about it and I had to give it a go and I was very impressed with it. It just slices through these apples. I've done about, I don't know, 15 or 16 pounds of it so far and it just keeps on cutting. It cuts better than any of my steel knives. I hate to say it, it cuts even better than my titanium knife that I made. But uh, if you haven't checked in the ceramics, I, I suggest you, you might want to think about it. Um, I had read years ago that ceramics were going to be the new stone age. We were entering the new stone age with ceramics. The thing with uh, ceramics is they don't, um, they don't degrade. You know, they, they said back then your toilet, uh, you, you could you know, have your house fall down. I mean, as long as it didn't break it. But your toilet would stay intact for like a million years or something like that so this is zirconium dioxide and it has a lot of toughness it uh, I mean it's not indestructible but uh, I know the Japanese were making uh, diesel engines with uh, well I don't think it was zir zirconium dioxide but it was some type of ceramic back in the early 80s you never heard too much more about it what impressed me is they said that uh, uh, a ceramic engine didn't need any uh, cooling and the hotter it got the more efficient it was so I'm guessing probably a diesel engine would uh, would fit that bill gas would just get hot and cook off I was so impressed with this I went down and I bought this G7 this is uh, this cost more than I make in old months but it's completely ceramic it'll go right through a, a metal detector at the airport and uh, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with it. Really like it quite a bit. <laughs> of course, you guys know I'm joking. This is just a Glock 19. But uh, I had uh, done some research into ceramic pistols and weapons. And Reagan had signed a uh, the Undetectable Firearms Act back in 1988. They were wary of terrorism even back then. They didn't want people running through metal detectors, you know, with... Um, ceramic pistols with caseless ammo but uh, now okay I'm, I'm kind of getting off the subject here but um, anyway this I'm not selling these knives but uh, I don't even know what brand they are I mean this this could be a Harbor Freight I, I have no idea but uh, anyway it's uh, worth looking into uh, Homestead Prepper out